And if he said, I smell loud, I think that that was just because I, I was considered the herb guy. Okay. And I think that was probably a, that was joke. a joke. Yeah, I think it was probably was a joke. Great job, but, Charlemagne. Yeah, it was a good joke. But <laughs> I never thought he was serious because that's not, I don't, I don't smoke weed. Okay, going back to DJ MV, we'll, we'll, we'll find uh, the footage. Well, the thing that he was into when I was on the show was actually juice bars. And we were actually considering actually putting the juice bar here. And I went to their juice bar. Um, great juice. Great smoothie place. It was a nice place. If so. you get your friend to buy a juice, <laughs> and then that friend buys a juice, and then all your other friends buy juice, you get free juice. Listen. <laughs> Free DJ MV. I'm saying it first. I'm starting it first. I don't, it's, you know what it is? I think what it is when you have these podcasts and you have these shows that kind of give you a little bit of power, I think what happens is that person is almost, you have to be really critical of who comes on the show. And I think that he, maybe the guy, uh, Caesar, was an actual, close friend or a friend and maybe DJ Envy thought he was really doing something positive initially and it just turned into this weird thing where the guy is actually robbing people left and right so what's the scheme I think the scheme would looks like they had real estate projects and people would don't donate money to those real estate projects and then the project would never be fulfilled and they would just actually just take the money what what did the people say? That's what people are saying. So they interviewed a few people, and now they're acting as if they were. They're trying to trying to bring DJ Envy into the mix because should he be in trouble because he promoted it? God, that's so hard. I'm gonna say I don't. <sighs> Because there has to be I, DJ Envy fans that are like, oh, man, I want to help. Well, I think every that's the thing when you're, you're a celebrity or a pseudo celebrity that people want to be like you and they want to do as well as you. So, therefore, if they hear you're into something, then you're automatically you gravitate towards those things. And that's where I think the people like Caesar. Um, Who the you, fuck is Caesar? The guy. That's the guy. That's the guy who's the head of the company that's actually doing all the real estate scamming, who just recently was indicted by the FBI. Oh, throw him in jail, let everybody else go. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. I so, think that's what they should do. Yeah. I so just, DJ Envy shouldn't get in trouble I for promoting I, it? I'm saying, I'm saying, listen, promoting it. See, people get paid to promote stuff. Now, should he understand the ins and outs of their business? That's tough. That's what I'm saying. Because if someone we're in comes that situation. In here, right. If someone comes in here and says, hey, I got a real estate company. I'm going to give you $10,000 an episode. Just keep talking about our real estate company. You're going to go look into their fucking developments? Definitely. Get the fuck out. I mean, I think you will look into it, but how do you know what's bad and what's good? Because you got, sometimes you got crazy investors who want their money tomorrow after they invest it. And sometimes you have legitimate claims like what's, what it seems like being claimed here. So that's, that's the line. You don't know where that line is. So, because because to be honest, somebody came in here and they were like, yeah, we're going to give you $10,000 an episode. Then the motherfuckers is going to end up on our show. Period. And that's... that's <laughs> any, pod, any of you Ponzi schemers out there, just know you got a place to advertise right here. Yeah, so our that, fans... Don't buy any products that we offer. Don't do it. Don't if you do see me it. like this... <laughs> Reading about it? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. But that's going to be our promote you. That's going to be our sign, of, people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Universal sign. So that's the whole thing. So I'm gonna say he was probably paid to promote it, and now they're trying to drag him in as the guy that's definitely involved. But I'm sure he's not there day to day. He's just the guy that was paid to promote it. Okay, so there's a resurfaced interview with DJ um, Envy where he talks about the people that he tried to talk about the real estate. Uh huh. And he said, like, when I pitched it to Joe Budden, he told me that, that that's a Ponzi scheme. Okay. Joe yeah. Budden, smart guy. Smart guy. Just because somebody, if you told me I was in a Ponzi scheme and I thought it was good, I'd be like, fuck you, Alejandro. <laughs> and I keep pushing. <laughs> Yeah. Unfortunately, Straight I've been up. hit by a couple of Ponzi schemes before. So if if he would have pushed it to me, I'd have been like, "No, thank you." 
Because I, I, I've seen, I know what they look like now. I've been hit twice by, by them, and it's fucking ridiculous. It's well, just it's just crazy because I'm sure they were like, this. He, they probably did their research and saw that he owned the property. That was his company that acquired the property, and all they needed a few dollars to get it to the next level. But the, what it is is that the guy never tries to get it to the next level. He just takes the money and run, which is banana. Why wouldn't, if you're able to ra- I don't understand that ever. If you're able to raise the money to do the project, wouldn't you just make more money doing the project? Because it, it's but, easy money. See, you can pro- see, now see, this is the thing when you're dealing with scam artists. So we got this building. We can literally, probably until they foreclose on the building, or if he owned the building outright, he never right. has to do the fucking work. He just has a project that he's talking about for the next couple years. So he's collecting money for years and years and years. And at that point, he doesn't even really own the project anymore. He's just stealing the money from the project. And it's just bullshit. I got to get a project. You, you want what? I said I gotta get one of these projects. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna come. Uh, he's gonna come in. I'm gonna one day. sign both you guys yeah. up. So me. wait a minute. So do you feel like? Because you kind of raised the question. Do you feel like DJ Envy should be indicted? Also, he should face some type of responsibility now by promoting it. He, he seems like he. That the was only it. reason why I say that. Let's just say if we had a show on TV. And someone ran the commercials afterwards, and it was on NBC. Is NBC, are they responsible about what those commercials are actually but doing? Is, I got something even it, better for you. Now the they promoted Taco Bell. Taco Hold Bell. Per, uh, Ola is fucking hilarious. They promoted Taco Bell on NBC, and, and um, Taco Bell, they were poisoning people. Is Should NBC be indicted with Taco Bell? Is NBC making hmm. money with Taco Bell? Yes. Yes, because they're paying for the promotion. But see, that's where it gets weird. It's the same situation to me. I but I feel like DJ Envy was part of the project. You feel part like of you, you don't see like the Taco Bell commercial. But you know what? I, brought this, to you by let NBC. me tell you what he, what probably happened to DJ Envy. No, it's and this, this program was brought to you by Taco Bell. It's the other way. Yeah, and, and this is this <laughs> and, and this is probably what happened to DJ Envy. The guy said, "Look, I can pay you to promote it, but I can also make you." A participant in the project so he probably believed it was real and that's why he signed up to do certain things so as a so, participant you don't he should be he's just one of the the people who got duped there's also absolutely a, there's he's also one of the, he's one of the people that got there's duped. also a total flip side of the coin that he knew about it the whole fucking time and he's just trying to make a bunch of money because <sighs> What about the tom brady thing and what about what was that shit that all the celebrities had to fucking get they got ftx huh FTX. Oh, FTX? Yeah. That's the crypto same shit. one. Same shit. It's the same situation. They're in trouble because the, they advertised it. No. Yeah, I understand that. But the reason why these people are being dragged in, and when you look at Taco Bell and the NBC thing that we just spoke of, you see corporations. You don't actually see the individual. So when you see the individual, it makes it more personal. So therefore, you're like, nah, DJ Envy. Okay, but what talk, about DJ? Talk me into DJ it. Envy's telling you to buy a Ferrari. Ferrari kills people every day, and they get in lawsuits. DJ, he shouldn't it's be It's not the same thing, though. The fucking selling food lawsuit. and selling property that is not real property is two separate things. It could be property. I just put it in there just Did for he, some bullshit. Because, like, Logan Paul is also getting sued for, since we're talking about crypto, he had, like, a project called Crypto Sue. And a bunch of people, you know, NFT, cryptos, and Listen, now... I seen that thing advertised. I was like, that's some fucking <laughs> bullshit. There ain't no fucking way. But yeah, but I don't think the promoter should technically get drug in. But I understand why people feel that way because they're identifying with the person and they feel like, hey, this person is successful. They're involved, so therefore I want to be involved. You think like it should come down to like one of those fucking health commercials where like you promote something and then underneath it is like, if this comes out later as a Ponzi scheme, I had no idea. <laughs> how it never, never had anything to do with it from the beginning. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> Listen, and that's the whole thing. And that's the thing. And that's the thing. Like, 